When Michael and I first met, I knew that he was different. He went on a family vacation after three weeks of dating, and he told his mom that he met someone. And his mom said, I need to tell you a story. Days of a brand new start came in perfect time and measure. Grace and a golden heart, how we've thrown our arms around you. In 2000, I began praying for my daughters that God would bring them a godly man. Susan's done the same thing, and I know Mike and Connie have been praying for a godly spouse for Michael. I just think about since the beginning of time, before time began, God knew that all of you would be here celebrating what God has done to bring these two together. Now God has prepared you specifically for this day. I never thought that people from Los Angeles and New York and Nashville and Louisiana would all be finding their way to Brenham, Texas. As one of my bridesmaids said, who knew in the middle of nowhere Texas is such a vibe? <laughs> so... <laughs> Earth today. It's like so crazy. Like, this is awesome. We're here to celebrate uh, what God has done in your lives to bring you to, to this point, and we're going to have a great time doing that. On behalf of Michael, Lindsay, and our families, Thank you so very much for being here this afternoon. Who gives us pride to be married to this man? Her mother and I. <laughs> Susan and I, sister. We are grateful that all of y'all have shared this evening with us. We know that tomorrow is a really, really big day. Oh God. Oh my god, I just, I literally talked earlier about how I'm not going to cry during this. I love you so much and I'm so excited for tomorrow. It's going to be such a blast and I hope that we can just like remember everything. It's going to be a blur, but we're going to look back on November 9th every year and just think, wow, that was an awesome day. Lindsay Ruth, I love you. I remember the day after I asked you to be my girlfriend. I had no idea what to do next or what the next steps would be, but we vowed to take it one day at a time and to see where God would lead us. How amazing that God has led us here. Today is a day that we have been talking about since we were little kids. And Michael, you are such an answered prayer. What a blessing it is to know that your best friend is loved and cherished and will be taken care of every day for the rest of her life. 
When I was a kid, they used to talk in church about the type of man you should look for. I went home and jotted down a few things on a note card and stuck them in my desk. In 2005, you started writing lists of what you wanted in a godly mate. In 2011, there's another list. In 2016, there's another list. She wanted somebody who was godly, a family man, somebody who played sports in college, and somebody who loved his mom. Michael, you are everything on these lists, but exceedingly more. Many people told me I had too high of standards, but as I look over the cards and stand before you today, I just know that you are my person. You are my man, and God has brought us together in his perfect timing. Michael, I don't know what your list is, but knowing and loving my sister, by marrying her, you're gonna have somebody who's gonna believe you can do anything you put your mind to. And you're gonna be marrying somebody who will always have your back and be your biggest cheerleader. We spent lots of Sundays sitting next to each other with clutched hands on a circle maker book and his journal. Lots of tears were shed over just hoping for the best and knowing that it was out there. Well, it's very old. It is 100 years old. I'm the fourth, just, uh, it's 100 years old. <laughs> so cool. His mom had been reading a book called Circle Maker, which coincidentally is one of my favorite books. And so my mom loves plants and she loves caladium bulbs and she had decided, you know, reading Circle Maker and praying intentionally that she was gonna plant these bulbs in one portion of the flower bed, but she was gonna pray on an area that was not planted. She prayed over this area and she just said, if, if these bulbs bloom in the area where I didn't plant them, then I'm gonna know that God has planned and provided a girl for my Michael. One year passed and they did not bloom. And then the next year, they did not bloom again. The third year, they bloomed right around the time that we had met. Right when I had met Lindsay, I said, you know, I've met this girl and I, she's just awesome. And then that's when she told me that that spring, she knew that Lindsay, she didn't know her name, was coming because the bulbs had bloomed that spring. That's why we incorporated caladium bulbs in my bouquet and throughout the ceremony, because it's kind of like a God wink that he's always got us. The first time I saw you, I noticed your smile. You profess to love Jesus, football, and adventure. Thank you, Lily. Which sounded amazing on paper, but I could tell by your smile that you had a joy that can only come from a true understanding and love of our Savior. I love you. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> I remember the day we met Lindsay, and gosh, I had my expectations set really high, but you far exceeded them. If I could pick any person for Michael, it would be you. Michael, the instant I met you, I was just so thankful that God brought you to Lindsay. You do not stifle any of her Lindsayness, but you are grounded and you help keep her centered. I love this guy like, like he's my little brother. And when I first met Lindsay, I mean, she was infectious, man. She was the most fun person I've ever been with. Michael. <laughs> you are bold and you have this love for life that is just never ending and you push everyone around you to enjoy it and just to make the most of what they've been blessed with. Lindsay, since you were born, you've been a bright, bright light. Everywhere you go, you've never met a stranger. Wow. <laughs> to my clone of a granddaughter, God knew what he was doing when he made her. And she got, and she got the perfect man, and we're so happy to have him in our family. This is a special group, and when you get a chance to unite two really strong families, that's a really, really neat thing. You're part of our family, and your family is our family. Don't ever walk away from that, because no, we're there. If you need us, call us. 
because that's what this family is all about and always will be about. You got the best. God has just done so much just in your life and your heart when you brought Michael into your life. My life changed when I met Michael in the best way possible, and he makes me better in every way. He's going to make my car cleaner. <laughs> A couple months ago, my brother and I were talking about something. He's just real stressed out. He goes, I finally figured it out. I'm marrying you. <laughs> she loses everything. She doesn't know where things are. She's late to things. And I was like, you're welcome? I know that God has been teaching me and preparing me for this day my entire life. Particularly when I think back to times I got impatient and upset with my brother for not keeping his shoes clean, his hair combed, or for coloring outside the lines. Look what God did. <laughs> One of the first things I noticed about you is that you don't give up. Michael, I promise to never give up on you. I promise to never give up on us. No matter what happens, no matter how crazy life's challenges may feel, I will always, always be on your team. I know that God has brought us together, and I know that God has called me to love you like he loved the church. I promise to lead you, to protect you, to be faithful to you, and to love you for the rest of my life. You are by far my favorite answered prayer. I vow to always be next to you no matter how bumpy the road gets and to always pack snacks because you never know where the adventure will take us. I vow to pray for you daily. I vow to take care of you when you are sick until the last day on earth. I will be right next to your side. Look at us We knew from the start, like, hey guys, we will celebrate. <laughs> I'm ready to get on the dance floor. <laughs> we love you too so much. What a life this is going to be, full of adventure, love, and grace. Michael, thank you for showing me a love like this exists. I love you. Yes, I do. <laughs>